This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. If you don't know this already, you need to know hypnosis takes place all the time, without your knowledge or consent. If a hypnotist can make someone do something on stage, when the person knows about it, a hypnotist can certainly compel someone in secret, with stronger effect, and hypnotists do. That's the whole purpose of hypnosis, not entertainment, but manipulation and power. The power to control someone else, without their knowledge. Assailants using hypnosis will reprogram you to ignore physical data, and it can cause mistakes, even fatal mistakes. For example, you might have a phone that lights up with notifications as soon as you lift it up. It always does this, and has always done it. Suddenly, it stops lighting up, so that you have to actually flip the phone open to see notifications. Then, you are hit with the reprogramming information, to doubt that the phone ever lit up. But you check the phone again minutes later, and it's back to normal. What happened? You were hit by someone trying to hypnotize you into blaming yourself, not the phone but the physical evidence was available to disprove them. Now, this goes on a lot. Forcing you to ignore physical data can be dangerous. For example, you may see that there is something in the road ahead, but you get reprogrammed to doubt yourself. In the time that it takes to correct this reprogramming, you can miss your opportunity to avoid the obstacle in the road and have an accident. This kind of thing goes on all the time. You are not accident prone. Someone is hypnotizing you. This is April Shell Ties. I myself am a very careful person, usually calm, not at all aggressive. But even with a person who is not prone to aggression, these hypnotists can wreak havoc. You might, for example, think you should check the dishwasher, to see if it's finished its cycle, and get convinced it's not finished, get distracted, get delayed, and end up not getting the dishes out for some time. This is someone else interfering with physical data that you can check on, only in the last few years. I found out that I was being influenced by hypnosis, and people pretending to be the Lord on the astral plane, the Bible calls them demons. People are hypnotizing you. I have tested this numerous times, over and over, I have disproved false programming with physical evidence. Praying to know what was going on over and over, I started to actually discover some of what was going on on the astral plane. You can hear your own thoughts. So can they. They are predators. They do not like scripture because you can uncover their presence and disrupt them. If you ignore this message, you will be giving enemies power over you. But they are vulnerable if you know they are there. You need to use exorcism. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Read the Bible. Respect all life. Exorcise these invaders. The Bible calls them demons. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. There are basically two groups in the world, the godly and the ungodly. Which are you? This is April Shell Ties, and I'm just a normal person. I knew nothing about all this, but I came under heavy attack when I tried to drive off a black occultist pretending to be the Lord on the astral plane. I was using scripture. A group showed up to protect him. I kept fighting. I started trying to warn people on my YouTube channel, 8 they too, and a bigger group showed up. I wasn't just fighting off one individual who was practicing witchcraft. I was fighting off big, big groups. I had major opposition from very big and powerful groups, religion, government, and business. They tried to destroy me. They haven't stopped. They used cover to take away my job. They took away my vacation and sick leave. They didn't pay me for the holidays I worked. They denied my unemployment. They blocked my 403b funds and retirement. I found out later my employer gets all my retirement. I accrued in 27 years if I die. They cut my phone. They cut my internet. They cut my power. They sabotaged my cars, again and again, and sent themselves secret society self same messages authorizing it. They cut my furnace more than once, again, with self same day messages. These assailants belong to the global new order, and they use the astral plane secretly against you, all the time. I can hear some of their discussions on the astral plane. Recently I caught them trying to reprogram me while I was asleep to be guilty of something and sorry for it. Then they complained the only thing that they could find is that I used to like secular music, but had already repented. There was a man and a woman on the astral plane, complaining that they couldn't find something that I hadn't repented of. Then they started plotting to get me hooked on secular music again. These people are there, and they are working against you every day, and at night, while you sleep. It's hypnosis, and they profit by it, while you lose. This is April Shell Ties. I was treated like garbage my entire life. I am a victim of genocide. This is Rome, and Rome poisoned and killed my dogs, 
killed two of my brothers, killed my niece, and came after me, too. They're after me still. Once Rome decides to put you down, they want you dead. Rome is still here. Rome is responsible for the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. We are still dealing with Herod today. Herod in Rome. The scriptures say, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him, with long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation.